This is CBS 8 News live at 5. It is scorching outside and over the next couple of days, you are likely going to think about turning on the AC if you have it. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee. Many of you are already amped up over the rate hikes from SDG&E and so maybe you're thinking, should I save money and sweat it out suffering through the heat or just pay the price to stay cool, comfortable and turn on that AC? With everything costing more these days, we're working for you to help break down those costs so you are not completely shocked when you get your next bill. CBS 8's Kirsten Holmes crunched the numbers to find out what running the AC will actually cost you. To turn on or not turn on the AC, that is the question, and that's the debate that's going all across the county as this heat wave continues. Now, energy saving tips say leave your thermostat at 78 degrees, but if you're like me, 78 degrees is still way too hot. So how long can you run your AC before you break your budget? Now that all depends on which billing rate you have with SDG&E. If you're on the time of day billing plan, your biggest goal is to not run your AC between 4 and 9 p.m., which, by the way, includes the hottest part of the day. This may work for some, but not for all. Another option is the tiered billing system where your energy use is measured throughout the month. And if you stay in the sweet spot of zero to 361 kilowatt hours of use, you only have to pay 39 cents per kilowatt hour. Anywhere between 362 and 1,112 kilowatt hours, you're paying 49 cents per kilowatt hour. But if you're on the tiered system, how long can you run your AC and still stay in budget? I'm working for you on this story, so that answer requires a little math. Here's what we did. That's where energyusecalculator.com comes in. It's an energy use calculator that you can find on the internet that does the work for you. We typed in eight hours a day. Most central ACs use 3,000 to 5,000 watts of power. For our example, we compute it for a 3,500 watt AC. Yours may be a little higher or lower. And then we put in the sweet spot price of 39 cents. Then we calculate it, and that comes out to nearly $11 for one day and a little more than $330 for that month. And remember, that's just for your AC, no other appliances, TVs, or computers. All right, so that sounds like a lot, right? So let's take a closer look at the problem. Most energy calculators online have you using 10 cents as the price per kilowatt hour. Here in San Diego, we all know that there is a price to paradise. We have to input 39 cents as the price. And remember, that's only if you're using less than 1100 kilowatt hours. Working for you, Kirsten Holmes, CBS 8. 